Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to Wasted Space, everybody. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a little bit of something new. Something I figured I would try that's a little bit different. Do we switch over here? Look, it's me. Hello. So yes, a little bit of a plan this evening to try out something called Wasted's Workshop. See whether you guys are up for this. Now, this is a bit of a pilot, so may continue, may not. But we'll have to see how things go. And the idea behind this is every week we do something a little new, a little experimental, a little sort of answering questions, trying out new ideas based upon whatever was said in the comments of last week's video, last week's stream. So you guys come up with something like, hey, Wasted, how does the Lotus work now? Hey, Wasted, what about wheels on the roof of the car? Hey, Wasted, what about those three wings that were on Tex's... Uh, what did he call it? God damn it, now I've forgotten. It's not a Viper, it's the other thing. Rattler, <laughs> that's the one. What about those little things that are on Texas Rattler, the wings that are at different weird angles? Can you make that work? So each time we're going to find some questions, some stuff from comments, some stuff from Discord, and try and answer those live. Have a mess around, a bit of an experiment, and see how things go. So, today's is Rotor Wings, and whatever, we might do some stuff a bit later on directly from chat, see whether you guys have anything live we can mess around with, answer a few questions and whatnot. But we do have an interesting place to start, because you guys will notice that uh, I'm standing here and you'll think maybe, wow, Wasted's positioned it all like cool so he can put his logo up there in the sky and everything. And if I turn this off, no, I've positioned it because, uh, sorry, what? I could have started without this, but it was too... It was too amusing to... to not. The floor's down here. Except... The floor's not down here, the floor's up there. So... Yeah... <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. It's only in some places, look. It's a lot closer to the ground here than it is anywhere else. But... Hmm. So this is the thing, and this is a brand new map with like four mods on it. <laughs> oh my word. So, unfortunately to begin with, we're going to start off with a reload and hope it fixes it. This vanilla Earth planet, vanilla everything, I don't know. Special Engineers is striking with a passion today. And yes, Declan, thank you for the nation and thank you for the reminder. Anybody who's wondering what's going on with the one cooperative survival with Textfire and Farrell, that is now going to be taking place on Saturdays. It looked from the comments and from the viewership numbers and so on like Saturday was going to be a better day. More people were going to be able to attend and actually see it. So there we go. That's now over on Saturdays and we're going to be doing something along these lines on... Am I all right now? Am I in... It looks like it might have fixed itself. So yeah, we're going to be doing streams like these on a Tuesday instead. Yeah, it has fixed itself. Wonderbar. Okay. Well, that's a good start. Now we can potentially actually do something and get some stuff done. Wasted's workshop. Wasted's workshop. Everyone's coming in and asking what the hell this is all about. The premise of this is, well, we may end up building a workshop slowly. I found a, I found a familiar bit of ice as well. I don't know if you guys recognize this particular bit of ice, but I certainly do. Stuck here for a while place over there where uh, R5 landed. There's that bit of land. Yep. I think you guys get where I'm getting at. <laughs> so yes, this is a new thing where we're trying out suggestions from chat, suggestions from comments, trying out different challenges, seeing what works in Space Engineers, what doesn't work in Space Engineers, and that sort of idea. And trying to do it all live because I do like to make a fool out of myself in front of people for some reason or another. Do you think we can modify a rapier? No, because the rapier's got the old wings on it. Screw it. We'll build something fresh. We'll build something afresh for this. So, sort out our bars with some sensible things. I love how it starts you with the default blocks of, of light and heavy, but doesn't bother to put these blocks on the bars. Like, you, what, you know, I'm not going to use these ones. <laughs> Forget those. <laughs> not important. And those... Donation notifications are taking a little while to pop up. See, so yeah, this is all born off of Texas Funny Fighter in... I mean, it's a very cool fighter that we've got in Uncooperative, but people suggesting that basically it's a really bad plan and you should never take that into atmosphere, because if you do, it's going to go to hell. 
which might be the case, but I'm intrigued to find out. Can we make something sensible? Rage Simulator 2018 then? Yeah, a bit. I like to beat myself up and do this sort of thing live for some reason. Evening, Yukumo. They've put the arm as a single tap, and this is where you can get the old blocks as well. If you still like to drag stuff out in the sort of, you know, the old way of building where you'd have the blocks out individually, um, you can still do that if you go in here. They are around. Okay, what am I missing? Reactors. Reactors? Let's go batteries. Cockpit. One of those, and that's probably going to be about it. I'll probably do with some thrust for this, couldn't we? Might want it to actually take off and whatnot. And a landing gear. Put it on. Never really used the wings until Takeshi added the sharp edged ones. Okay, that seems a bit weird. I quite like the. I still prefer the curved ones. I, I can't explain to you why I still prefer the curved ones. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to just because I'm not used to building in creative recently. And also, I'm not used to building at like 120 FPS with 1.0 sim speed. What's this all about? Okay, so let's start off by just getting the rotor frame set up. So we want something. Yeah, this is. It's, I'm moving so quickly, I'm not even used to it. <laughs> God, and let's be sensible and use that tool that we can use because we have the ability, the power. Uh, actually, I probably don't want the blue mirroring on, do I? If you guys have any questions while I'm doing this, uh, no, it's the blue I do want. Uh, then I'm going to do my best to try and keep an eye on chat and make this a kind of semi, hey, I can ask questions about space engineers here kind of thing as well. Even if I don't have the answer, you can be damn certain that someone in chat will. And wing mod dedicated wing rotors. I wasn't aware that the wing mod had dedicated wing rotors. What are they called? We got that for later as well. I wanted to try out the nav ball. I'm sure you guys have seen it on the workshop. I'm not sure they do have dedicated rotors, man. And if it does, it's not in my version. You got motors? Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't know why it's called motors instead of rotors, but... Okay, and they're, they're huge. Nah, we're not going to start off with those. We're going to start off with normal rotors, because normal rotors was the scenario we had. Normal rotors was Tex's sort of example scenario, what we're, what we're trying to answer to begin with. Then we can think about... Um, then we can think about maybe trying out some of the other dedicated ones if this doesn't work. <laughs> Hello, Lord Clang. How you doing, man? Now, Tex built his with the army... Armo... Armo... With the wing fill parts. So I'm going to do the same with this. Let's get some power on that so we stop them from spinning, please. And I'm going to delete the rotors and put them back on again so that they're stuck in their correct position. So that one's moving. And also, I'm going to turn the torque up so that they don't shift without me wanting them to. Oh no, they have deleted, defaulted to max. Good, good. What's this stream about? The stream is going to be about, in particular at the moment, whether or not it's safe and sensible to use, like, triangled rotor wings. How long have we gone there? Two, three, four, five. So I want to build up a really quick sort of test frame, I think is the idea. To attach some wings to and see whether or not how it responds just by default. Like where do we start? What's our starting point? Then I can worry about messing around with it and seeing if we want to do anything else funky. Now there is also a question here whether or not doing the wings the weird way around like I have a habit of doing them is beneficial. That's about the perfect length for another one on the front. Oh yeah, I'm in creative. I don't have to sit there trying to get closer and closer and closer, do I? Wasted out of practice with creative mode. That is a weird thing right there. Cool, now, technically, the top one doesn't need to be on a rotor. 
and it wasn't in Texas design and Texas top wing was was fixed it's three out and then another one two two blocks so Survival is on Saturdays now, indeed. Okay, that's too far forward. Let's do it properly. There. Okay, and then get rid of you. Whack on. And cockpit to control things. Some jurors, perhaps? Maybe only one, because this won't need much more than that. Some rust to the rear. Uh, do I cheap and go sideways? No, let's not. Let's start off with just rearward thrust to begin with. That'll be an interesting experiment. Trailing edge wing sections for the, the sharper ones. I can kind of see how that would work, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice having the variants. I just honestly don't tend to use them. Slightly unnecessary, but whatever. And... Uh, Okay, angles. So we're going to want these at 45, I guess, per for the, the perfect setup to counterbalance each other. So lower limit of minus 45. Let's go negative a little bit and just see if that's going the right way. No, it's not. We want this one needs an upper limit of minus 45. Nope. Not upper limit of 45, perhaps. Might be more sensible wasted. And then let's do the same with this one. Five. Five. This one's going to be the one that goes negative instead. Oh. Now, in theory, that's all we need. Tiny bit of stream delay. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. My favourite ship that I've built, or just in general, and in Space Engineers, or over, that, that's a broad question there you have, sir. Hit me up with some some more more definition for said broad question. Uh, right, in theory, this is literally all we need. So a copy, put wheels on it, I suppose be quite amusing. Do wheels work on rotor wings? So we're going to start off by not using inertial tensor. Shared inertia tensor. Te no. Shared inertia tensor. Made a moving tongue twister there without even realising, I suspect. Uh, is that the one that works? The sense the one that works, isn't it? Can This could be kind of amusing. Hehe. <laughs> Take off with the with the wheels like that, and uh, with the wings flat, and then adjust them. Yeah, that's too close, isn't it? That's a shame. It'd been quite neat. Oh well, uh, let's use one of you at the front. Oh, I forget how finicky this thing is about its wheel placement. And how enormous the wheel is as well. Nope, screw it. We'll do it without wheels for now. I'll just try and land it. How about that? <laughs> Having that arms operate at different angles. What do you mean, Ewan? 
factor. Yeah, I'm going to just need one because I need to be able to get it down to the ground, preferably in one piece. That'll do. Have I got enough gyro? No, I don't. I'm just hoping to have enough gyro force to lift the nose up, but that's not happening. Actually, plus of all, what's this? A tutorial stream hosted by Wasted? Not quite a tutorial stream. There's a bit of that. Think of it, I was trying to describe it to people earlier, and I was thinking, think of, like, slight audience participation science show. <laughs> that's the, but, but space engineers based, where we go and try out experiments and, like, maybe try and solve some challenges and answer questions and that sort of idea. Got some new music in the playlist as well, which is always good. Right, uh, let's take a copy of you, and let's take a save, just in case. See how round one goes. These these wings are looking nice and stiff. They are not locked. Okay, so this is with shared inertia tension off, rotor lock off. See how they behave. Okay. Certainly has some interesting behavior. Yes. Not a perfect first, first test. Bye bye, cruel world. No, we gotta test it properly. I can't just lock the rotor straight off the back. We gotta test what works and what doesn't. Hey, look, it's another ship that ideally would take off like this. Oh my word, it's the way the forces are behaving here is very odd. They're pushing against each other a lot. I mean, it's sort of flyable, but I can't steer. When I steer, I turn. This is me using the mouse there. That's the mouse moving, not, not me doing anything else. Why am I building a TIE Stealth? I'm not. It just so happens to have turned out looking kind of along those lines right off the default, right off the bat. All right, so let's try locking the roses now. Right, is now locked. So I can already tell you it's flying weird again. <laughs> this is not flyable. Tree! Now flatten the wings. Now Takashi Maru, that is an interesting suggestion. So, yeah, just as a quick a quick test, what happens if we flatten the wings out but keep them on the rotors? So, they're currently at 45. I need them to go to zero and... Zero. Reverse. <laughs> Okay, same problem. Same problem. It's not as bad. It's it's more comfortable. I've got a bit of control over it. Especially at low speeds. Sort of. If I go any faster than this, I start to lose control and the way it moves around is very weird. Landing, I don't think, is going to be very doable. Oh, flawless. Flawless! Okay. So maybe... We take the shared inertia tensor route. Now this should, in theory, fix it. Yeah, it does. I think. No, even here, it's a bit weird. It, it's still wanting to behave a bit strange and fly a bit strange. I've got a good plan. Let's um, reverse those in the air does immediately make it want to rotate on the center axis. It wants to, makes it want to go upside down. That's a question. How does it fly upside down? Well, I let it go the way up it wants to. How does it fly?
weird because when you turn, it doesn't turn, it rotates. Oh. Let's check the roads at right angles. Let's tensor and lock them. And I'm going to take that top wing off. Oh. No, that's not particularly promising. So, I've learned a few things. Main one being, this seems to really not want to play together. <clears throat> I don't think it's the mass on the rotors that is our problem. I think it's the fact that you can imagine these as thrusters that are pushing out this side and out the bottom side, the opposite side, based on your speed. So they're pushing like that based on your speed. So, in fact, it's not working as a triangle because they're not balancing their forces out. I think what we need is four rotors. We need, we need a completely uniform design so that when they're pushing, they're pushing unilaterally against each other. So all of these forces are pushing inwards. Right, space, do you like RTS? Um, yes. Yes, I do. Should, should be able to find a few RTSs on the channel, here or there. I'm going to go back to where we began. That's not where we began. God, how did we manage to get this far away? Got miles away from where we started. Must be over there. Screw it. I'll do it here then. I'm an Atmo, not space. Flying reacts differently. Well, I imagine it would. These have got wings. They don't work in space. <laughs> Put you down properly. And let's get another one. Uh, let's strip everything off this. Uh, get rid of you. Right, if I try taking that, I put it top there. That, what collision box is in the way? Really be any collision boxes in the way there, surely? It'll be the rotors, because they're a pain, but I still don't understand why there should be a collision box. Wonderful experiment success. I was going to give one of the feline overwords a bath while watching live. That sounds dangerous. That looks cool. Hell, we need to work out how this works so that I can build things that involve that, because that looks awesome. up and the next it's an x-wing though yeah indeed it most definitely is 
There must be gyros, right. Let's slap a gyro or two in here. Back of the cockpit, safest place for them. That way if the gyros go, so do I. Back a battery in. And she rises without even being asked. <laughs> that's yeah, the top half should do the same. I just need to uh work out which one's which. So that's that'll be set one, I think. That'll be set two, right? I think you love copy and paste. Kinda looks cool. <laughs> what the hell? And thank you, thank you for the uh, super chat donations, by the way, guys. I've been, I've been reading out the messages and they're not saying thank you, which is very, very poor of me. Thank you very much, Zalson, Zalcian. Sorry. What if you put counter thrusters on the wings? I know it'd kind of defeat the point, but it might open some possibilities. Yeah, that or gyros on the wings, perhaps. Uh, but I want to go bit at a time. That way we can figure out exactly what it is that's going to work for us. I think that's pretty much ready for another test. I hope it works. This thing looks kind of cool. Have I got a copy? Yeah. A good GPS from where we are as well, I think. The angle's 45 degrees, so that should be perfect, right? Come on, up you come. It's funny how you can exert more force on the gyros with the mouse than you can with the keyboard. I don't really understand how that works. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. What we got here, boys? Wasted, wasted might have been right. Shit, son. Is this an auto-leveling craft, or is it an automatically points you to your death craft? It's an automatically point you to your death craft. Wonderful. not a keen on pointing upwards or rotating at all. Okay, I'm going to give it some, some thrust and then I'm going to try let's try uh, locking these. See if that helps at all. Now that's not made any difference. Alright, now how about shared inertia tensor? It does not fly well, guys. It does not fly well. But it does fly. Okay. Um, changing the angles to 30 is not something I can do mid-flight. What I could do mid-flight for lols, because we've got a copy, is reverse all the rotors. Ah, oh, we can't, because they're locked. We have the, the lock off, please. There we go. Activate other position. <laughs> this, this does not fly well.
What I find interesting is it's a point you to your death craft regardless of which way up you are. It's just going to point you to your death regardless of what's going on. And even thrust from the wings back to thrunt, front because of the wing shape. That could be something worth trying. Let's um, go for a graceful landing back down here, shall we? We're near where we started again. I'm good at grace, so uh, probably got this covered. I mean, technically it's flyable. It's just not very easy. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd want a dogfight in it, say, or land at any object or any place smaller than a massive ice lake. This is going to sting. Slow down. Slow down. There we go. Yeah, it's just a gentle little skid. <laughs> uh, the rotors are at the same angle. It's because of the FOV. Depending on which angle you look at them from, from they'll they'll look off, but they are at the same angle. You have to line up the camera perfectly for it to look right. Okay, so what do I do next? Maybe try doubling up the wings? So, if we try getting the wings even, see if that makes any difference at all to this. I don't think it'll matter the main body of the craft itself that split off. Maybe it does. Maybe we have to have everything perfectly balanced here. Maybe it may well be the case. That would be a nightmare. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> yes, I suspect I need to have everything evenly balanced. Which suggests that we might be better off working on a slightly fresh prototype. So, go on. one of these stupid craft that ends up with a blooming <laughs> ends up with a cockpit on both ends because it's the easiest way to balance it I want to know which way around you're supposed to get it Bumped the bottom to force air down to keep the nose up. Unfortunately, Wayne, its space engineers is not quite that in depth with its calculations. It'd be awesome if it was, but some stuff applies like that, some stuff doesn't. Okay, so we gotta use battery as bodywork here.
So current rotors, I mean, 45, one at a time. We need to do these bits at a time, unfortunately. Okay. So you're not 45. It's 45. Oh. I guess we should have a positive and negative group for this and make it easier if I want to make any adjustments in the future. How likely is this to be survival ready? Well, at the moment, it's not even likely to work, so I wouldn't worry too much about the survival ready side of things. <laughs> Let's see how far I get, shall we? <laughs> Come on, on the road ahead. There you, there you go. You found it. Okay, so get him positive. Let's hide the terminal as well. Oh god, I had mirroring on for that. That was not what I wanted. One at a time, please. Flame farts is amazingly useful in survival. I do tend to, to be honest, build stuff survival ready without even thinking about it, just because it's it's part of what adds some enjoyment into it, is it not? Do you not think? I like that, you set a lower limit and it just goes, yeah, no worries, we're going to ignore that completely. That. Uh, upper limit of 45 as well, there you go, that should stop you from doing that. Thank you. No, you are. No, you're not negative. You're positive. So you're negative then. So you're five. No. Rotors are a bit finicky, finicky, but they're also cool, man. You can't not use them. You, there is a, is it still in here? No, uh, there is a tilt rotor, and a we we should try and see if that still works. I'll load up the game at some point later on in the stream because that thing's amazing, and that used um, uh, wings in, in a, a helicopter design and somehow managed to pull it off. But again, it was using what looked to be perfectly symmetrical, so maybe we're onto something with this. One more set, and then I've only got to hear four sets of wings and the rest of a ship. Be fine. So the solution is to add blocks. I don't know. Trial, the solution is trial and error. Now, the solution at the moment is to try and make a craft that's symmetrical. Now, I might be overdoing it with the fact that I'm going for four, uh, a set of rotors for each direction, but it does absolutely ensure that the balance is the same. Uncorp survival is still a thing. It's just now running on a Saturday. The position where I can see. And of 
course I went for the other one first. All right, let's do this one. If I do the one I can see, then I'll be able to work out what the other one is. There you go, so that one's the negative. This one's the positive. Hey. Little bit convoluted, but whatever. Right. Probably why I put mirroring on this. Is this going to be a weekly thing? That's the idea. Lodestar, I need some people in chat, of course, and in comments to start feeding out ideas for the next episodes and stuff. But yeah, that's, that's the thinking. Correct usage of wings. Weird. That's massive. That's absolutely enormous. Paint's a bit too light, what do you mean? This is starting to look more and more ropey as I put wings on it. <laughs> I'm getting less and less confident. It doesn't look that stupid, actually. It looks stupid for a bit, and now it's sort of coming together. I'd need to change these blocks I'm putting down here, but I'm lazy at the moment. Just want to test it. God damn it. Get on there. Repeat the same button presses over and over again, and expect it to do something different. Yep, that's how it works. Okay, messy, 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 but potentially functional. As much as I want to put them in there, they're going to interfere, I think. Negative, should all have an upper limit of zero. Positive, should all have a lower limit of zero. 
you should all have a velocity of sure 3.5 sounds good same over here minus 3.5 And then make a all group and take a copy, take a save, and then as a test, just try reversing that all group, right? It looks kind of cool. That's the thing. I think Laser James would approve. Wouldn't be like, what the hell is he talking about? I don't know where Laser James got his glasses. That's the real question. Okay, um, next up's test, I guess. Goodbye. Copy. Oh, it's got built-in built wing suspension. That was the idea. Okay, so groups. All. Not on, not on off. No, not on off. Reverse. It also naturally wants to lean on it. It's got launch position. Launch position. And up. Well then. Uh, yeah, I just kind of lost, lost, lost the words there for a second. It's just like um, I really wasn't expecting it to actually function. Mouth, mouth failed me. Okay, uh, there's only other one thing left. Battle mode, engage. Doesn't want to rotate very much. It need more gyros, I think. Deploying foils. Okay, that's pretty cool. Success. Sideways flight mode activated. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> you know what's interesting about this? 
it turns crazy linearly with just rear thrust. Look at this. Look at the speed it's maintaining. Have fun at the gig, man. Catch you later, Tex. Look at the speed it's maintaining. Nice. Well then. Not the most graceful of landings ever, but bloody works. Okay now. Where are we? Ah, uh, here again. Where did I leave me wreckage? Ha! It's the problem with building on a barren ice plane is you never know where you're parked. <laughs> we shall use biggest grids. There it is. <laughs> this is where we want to be. How is that the biggest grid? That's not the biggest grid. This clearly is the biggest grid. Hey, Sam Langston. <laughs> yes, you get the you get the center of mass, but by default, by doing the symmetry like I have, that's kind of why I did it. I know it's a bit cheaty. And the question is, what can we do to this tartar up a bit, if anything? There's blatantly some sexy blocks we can get in here. He says, not finding said sexy blocks. Ah, well, we can get that sorted first. Uh, wait, get over here. Hate building in spectator. Uh, no, full size one, please. What? Why have you only got a. Why have you only. Mmm. That makes no sense. It may be here. No, nope, that makes absolutely zero sense. Why would you only have a half height one? <laughs> You can do that, but that looks equally silly. What about having the wings at 90 degrees rather than 60? Would it handle the same? Um, well, it, it sort of did with one set of 90 degrees. I haven't tried the other one. Oh, there it is. There it is. I found it. I was in a different place. better. still feel like I want to extend these a bit and try and join up the center section somehow, even if it's not all the way. thing is, these things do just add weight without doing it. Of that still. Yes, sexy blocks. Everyone's favourite blocks. 
I could get blaster edges in there, yeah. Close enough. There'd still be a gap in the middle, but you, you could get some edges on. Okay, so there were some suggestions that we needed weaponry. I think I know where it needs to go. Yep. <laughs> Technically, you could get the blocks to connect with a bit of jiggery poker with merge blocks, but it would never be very happy about it. Now, unfortunately, in order to make this actually work properly, don't I now also need to add guns on the back? Can we, um, center of mass? Oh, that's not going to have changed if I've got mirroring on. Okay, so now, can we get the mass balanced well enough we can get rid of that. That's the goal now. What's the Falling Apart song name? Have I forgotten to put... I've forgotten to put me, me, me thing on. Sorry. Uh, the Falling Apart song name is called Falling Apart. <laughs> it's by... a person. Have a look in a second for you. I'm not doing this with mirroring because I suspect it'll fall off if I do. It's not actually connected on. Oh, no, it is. It was connected on the side, so I could have done that with mirroring. Oh, well. It's done now. Saying that. Technically, we do have to do this, because otherwise it won't be even weight, will it? Take off the front thrusters for balance. That's an interesting suggestion. Shifted it back a bit. Now we could add some more rear thrust. Shame this rear end isn't really equipped for it. Looking. Getting close now. I think it might even be a bit to the rear now. Yeah, it is. Which would mean she'd pull up slightly, which might not be a bad thing. The other question is if I set these to minus 10, these to negative to 10, positive to, uh, what I've messed up there. and minus 15 
This is Space Engineering Corp, new designer of TIE interceptor models for the Imperial Regime. I present the TIE Wasted. Also, Star Wars Solo is amazing. I haven't seen it yet. I need to see it, I know, but yeah. I want to put wheels on it, on the wings, but that'll imbalance the wings, I think. not be placed was that because of my ugly face I expect it may have been that's why I just took a copy before I did anything because I knew that was coming <laughs> get out of here Understand why I can't place that wheel. What other wheels we got? You know that one's too big. That's massive. No, thank you. How about this one. That looks nice and dirty. Yeah. So it lands like this with the wheels, with the wings stowed up. So the wheels put out, and then when it goes to um, whatever you call your, your X foils, X foils, your attack position, the wheels point, end up pointing inwards out of the way, maybe ish, something like that. Mm. I'm happy. I'm just messing around now. Leave me alone. <laughs> These janky shack wheels doesn't sound right. Oh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Right, let's get rid of this rubbish because I'd like to be able to see. Let's take a save. See whether or not we can go for another test flight AVEC guns and proper S4 positions. Weapons test. Functional. Smitty Bergen reckons a cartwheel's incoming. Could be, could be. Any other bets before we take off? Hang on. I'm controlling those weapons through a grid. They're the other side of the rotor head. Weird. Wheel settings might be alright on default, actually. Ish. so well. Oh, why are you suddenly spinning like a lunatic when I try and drive forwards, hey?
Oh, that's better. Now then, uh, foils. Oh, it tucks the wheels up into the hull. Ah, that's cool. Where do we take off from? I want a strafing run. Oh, that was it. Bring it around. My guns have gone from the cockpit. No! Come here. Attack maneuvers. Entering attack vector. Take him out, Captain. Dog it down. Coming around for another attack. Okay, this is really cool. Low level attack run. Commence. Scrape the floor, Captain. May have lost a wing. How does she handle? Handling characteristics definitely affected. Still currently able to fly, just about. Attempt emergency landing. Struggling. Struggling, Captain. Ah. Control appears to have been lost. We appear to be accelerating sideways at a high speed. Performing emergency brake. And we're down. Good as new. Please excuse the drift. <laughs> to space! As soon as the wings go into this position, you actually gain a lot more control still. Ah, this is quite cool. This really is quite cool. I'm pleased with this. It is a bit of a vulnerability. Oh dear. Did it just bounce? I think it just bounced. Uh, not that much. <laughs> right, well, I think there's only one thing for it. It's time for a quick reload. Get the uh, the mech specs weapons added, and get me copies back because I think I just blew them up. Yeah, that's the old one. Might have just wrecked the copies we had. So yeah, uh, quick reload. I am gonna go and quickly kick the cat out of the room because it's been a pain in the ass. One second, folks.
Space Engineers is doing it again. Look what I've come back to. Anyone got any idea what's going on here? <laughs> what is this rubbish? I believe I was heading from this direction. Let me use the biggest grids thing. Oh no, it auto-saved. Thankfully, we didn't take out the current version. Which is this one. <laughs> so, I mean, I think we've learned the rules here of the, of the what do we need to do with our sort of rotor wings in order to make them work. Need to have the the weight balancing consideration the whole time, uh, and make sure that you've got an even number of wings that are again symmetrically spaced. Professional Australian sport, <laughs> upside down sliding. Maybe I just do a little bit more on this craft here to make her look a little bit messy. Oh, hang on. There's there's proper blocks for this. Oh, there might not be variants, mind. Rear end looks a bit shit, I gotta say. little better. What's that done to the centre of mass? Not much. Kept it pretty... In fact, if anything, it might have balanced it out a little. And then there's the question of uh, these bits here. Which obviously we don't really need reverse... Uh, reverse Gatlings. I can't, I can't see much argument for reverse Gatlings. The center of mass on these is lined up with... It's the start of that block, whereas on these is actually a bit further. It's got to be a difference, right? Just thinking, is it enough of a difference that I can just at least fill these in? So they look a bit more intended. And then, uh, you've always got the question of what you do on the front. I guess... It never hurts to remember that it could be being used in survival. Did I save the wheel settings? Nah, but I can set those up easy enough. No, the last time I put reverse weaponry on a ship, it had a habit of shooting friendlies. Because, not surprisingly, the things behind you tend to be friendlies. I hate this blooming... The front of a cockpit the, like this. The number of times I feel like I've tried to design something to go on it that doesn't look awful. And it's just always the same rubbish. It's always like, oh, yeah, we'll do this. But, but that looks garbage. 
Die. I can't remember what ship it was. It was one of the yellow team ships. Glaive? No. Yes, it is the glaive. The glaive's got a gun in the rear. Uh, and whenever the yellow team used it, it used to shoot the crap out of um, friendlies. Is it this one? Yeah. A gun on the back. Unfortunately, this is set up with the aerodynamic wings mod, which uh, for some reason doesn't like cross over with plane parts so these things need their wings added back on again but yeah that gun there was guilty of killing people in many a dogfight on their own team I wasn't thinking of the underneath of the cockpit honestly it was the um, it's the front bit it's this front edge I mean you get an extra block thickness to work with if you put armour underneath there is that but yeah I might just leave it like that to be honest Maybe, um, take a spotlight on. We'll do that anyway. We'd put them on the end of the week. Ah, ha, ha. And also blind the people behind us. Now the only bit that's awful is this back end. Oh, and the fact that I've missed doing this down here. Fail. Doesn't, it has batteries, but it doesn't have a connection or any reactors that I can see. There is that, yeah. Right, we've got a little bit of weight to the front now, it looks like. I might be able to... Is that just from the air vent? Get a... Smack a pair of reactors into the back, depending on how heavy they are. That's not shifted it too far. That's looking alright. Um, and... Um, fill in that hole there. And... That hole there, because I can. And then I feel like, just from its shape, this puppy needs to join a certain team. It's kind of the wrong sort of um, design otherwise to do the normal coloration I'd do for red team. Red team normally have, well, I mean, normally it's the wings and stuff, but normally the wings are tucked inside the body rather than wrapped around the outside. Is that the right red? Yeah, it is, actually. I like it. Yeah, the, normally I use the red to, like, colour internals. Or what, what end up looking a bit like internals. Uh, really work. Yeah, the usual approach doesn't really work here. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do, it's just not quite what the uh, 
they look like. I, I like the um, the paint scheme where they're. I've got uh, what's it? The broadsword maybe. Yeah, we've got the the red kind of comes out from underneath. That you can't see because the blooming wings mod is not working, so I can't paste these in. They need to be fixed, but. I mean, you can get an idea. You've got sort of the black clasps around the outside of, of the red bits, but. That would mean make it. I suppose I could. Yeah, I suppose I could re reverse this and make the core red part also. It's a. dodgy grey. Yeah, I'll say it immediately looks better that way around. Maybe with these bits. Still. the beast set up the beast nope 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 plenty of fuck all of all of yay the wheels are sort of in the right position they'd probably be better off backwards but Acceptable. Now then. If we could just find somewhere to whack one of these. <laughs> Maybe that's for the next design. I lengthen the center bit. Whack a couple of heavy shield generate large shield generators in there. Yeah, either side of that central wing matrix. Oh well, let's take it for a fly before I mess any more. A fly and a copy. You might be able to get... Now I've got these extra bits on there, I might be able to move them back a bit, to be fair. there's a I can move them back at least one space. By that. Yeah, these are, these can technically now go. Therefore, removing them. Right? No, I probably don't have enough power for too large to... So many versions. Just want new ones, please. Up to date ones. I know what they're like. Wheel settings. I might just do the front one. Actually, no, I should do them all, but I should do the front one a bit more. So, up there. These maybe dropping uh, strength down to 30. So, you've got a little bit of rake. Possible. It's an interesting shape. That is for sure. Right. 
You've made a fair bit of changes to your weight layout. You gonna take off for me? The auto landing design, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> what sort of angle is that? I like knocked myself out of my cockpit or something. So lesson learned, two lessons learned. One, don't copy it from the wing because it acts all fucking weird. Two, can't afford to turn down the rear suspension strength like that. That's better. That's better. I did forget to do the, the thing where I put the, the tools on the bar, mind. However, it's now behaving well enough that I can just let it, let it, look, it's off and it's going. Even in, even in shitty fly mode. I'm quite pleased with this. You know what time it is, right? It's time to put S fours into attack position. Beep. It's weird, when you turn, it intrinsically leans the craft, as you do. But... Can't be too bad if you can do a bit of tree flying in it. This thing's awesome. It's not quite a rapier, but it's fun. I do like the point of view with the four like wings sticking out as well. And now, bring around, flat bit of terrain, chill the bird, and deploy for landing. Driftmobile has has truly been initiated. At this point, you cannot turn. Deploy for retake off.
No, slow down. I know I don't have much friction. I'm sorry. Slow. Stay on the floor. There you go. Please slow. Before we reach a mountain or something. I need wheel settings on the bar so I can increase wheel friction. I think is the answer here. Not the most landable craft as it currently stands. Well, there we go. We are down a bit properly now. As in, I'm not flying. I'm just drifting around like a lunatic. Technically down. I could use air brakes. Not a bad plan, Ides. Where can I safely remove blocks? It's wing, that bit's wing, back here isn't. Oh, nice. Come on, let me get the brakes on. I can use some manoeuvring brakes as well. Suddenly dawned on me there. Shit, that was the wrong bit. Ah, that's why it was the wrong bit, because this wing's also missing some... Yeah, we're missing a, a few detail blocks down here as well. And someone did tell me about that, and I didn't realise which block they meant. Fail. That explains how I... ...on as well. Let me get this back on again. Thankfully, yes. Same on this side. Cool. Don't have any of those yet. So now let's get the air brakes there, and these are. So going to have ones in the other direction. Oh, acrobatics, yo. I'm going to put them in the right place. There. Where I put them in the first place. While I do this, you guys have a muse. Uh, don't tell me yet. I'm going to ask you in a, a little while because I feel like we've sort of we've we've had a look at this as a as a concept and worked out a way of doing it. Can answer that 
you can indeed do rotor wings if you want to, and you can stick them at all sorts of funny angles, and they work as long as you follow certain rules. Breaks off in the terminal. One of these cool... Uh... <laughs> Call them thrust brakes because it's kind of that way round. Bit, bit weird, but hey. Have a thing on that, and I will have a thought on. We'll we'll investigate something else. I don't feel like this has been dislike worthy so far. We set out with the mission. We have accomplished the mission with a ship that looks quite cool. In fact, it uh, looks quite cool and functions better than really I expected we were going to be able to pull off. Still driftalicious, mind. Until you go into attack mode. It's a nice view with the guns firing as well. You don't see the guns themselves, but you get a very nice idea of where the tracers are heading. All right, let's give a go on the uh, on the landing this time. So going into land, lovely big area, but hey, let's try and stick it nice and fast instead. So we move wings. Obviously, sorry, what we do is we'd line... Oh, look at that shadow. That shadow looks awesome. So, yeah, where was I? You'd line up straight with the runway. Level yourself out. Close your foils as you come in. You'd hit your brakes. Oh, there's a cool shadow, like a shaking animation for them now. Slowing, slowing, slowing. Looks like I could still do with a bit more friction or more air brakes. Either way, certainly better than last time. Have I ever tried making a swing wing? I'll have a 14. I, I have, yeah. Yeah, I probably do need some more air brakes, because I just took off with them open. I like the idea of a name, Phase of R, as well. stop or miss no whoever said that the these ones aren't helping they're not you're right we could do with more in the right direction Well, 
If we're going to call it anything, think about the idea of what my previous naming's been like. So it's been all about uh, weapons. Not really what we were after. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Better. I can see this on the workshop, yeah. Yeah, I feel it's only appropriate as part of Wasted's workshop that anything we make goes up on the workshop, right? The space. Crossbow works, perhaps. I don't think it's the flail. The bastard sword. Nah, definitely not. And yeah, the shuriken does certainly fit to some extent. Krakabra, isn't that like a curvy, like, sort of machete type weapon? This thing glides like a beast. It also naturally noses up slightly, which is cool. Dude, it looks like the head of a mace. You are completely correct. It does look like the head of a mace. Alright, so give me some good mace names then. We've used Batleth already. Morningstar. Morningstar could be a good one, but it's not quite right. We need, like, what's the name of the mace with this type? It's like a flanged mace, isn't it? I already have a glaive as well. Gentle as you like. How about that? So the only thing I might do with this design in future, I will stick this one up on the workshop, but I might want to revisit it eventually and lengthen this main cockpit section here to introduce a bit of cargo maybe you could i reckon you could get some rocket launchers on the side not missile rocket there's the reloadable ones to do why am i blind there they are so i reckon you could get some reloadable rockets in here somewhere but on the side in there in a way that didn't interfere with the uh the wings. Uh, you can see there's there's a few spots where if you were to lengthen her out, you could maybe get some there. Or you could go modded, of course, get some Mark 1s. I could colour the spotlights or I could just get rid of them. They're a bit silly.
It's in the dim. Yes. Wing of flanges moving to strike the target. Yes. Thank you, Daxamil. <laughs> I'm definitely going to play more with these angles with the wing blocks. They look quite cool. Something about that very flat texture. Something to see a Japanese wasp when you look at the front. Ew. 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 No, thank you. Yeah, flanged mace is the one with blades. I mentioned it earlier. It doesn't sound very good. <laughs> For a ship name, it tends to... Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't roll off the tongue quite right, does it? The wing nut. <laughs> the lights were a bit blinding, was the thing. Right, guys. Let's have in chat some suggestions for what we should do next we've had a bit of a look at uh, this sort of wing design what do you fancy looking at next same sort of idea same sort of thoughts and I'll pick a few choice ones out of chat and we'll stick them up for a straw poll so I'm not thinking like uh, make a tie fight or something like that make a like it's not it's not quite make a thing it's like Okay, let, let's do something with a certain block, or let's mess something around and see whether or not we can do a certain thing. It's kind of the idea of this series is going to be to try and maybe answer some questions, or you know, experiment with ideas of whether or not something's possible with space engineers, or that sort of idea. Check out mods is another one, of course. Experiment with mods and what you can do. How many pistons is too many? Lol. Make a mech warrior. No, we're not making bloody walking mechs on stream. I've done it a couple of times. It's not fun. They take a long, long, long time. Rotor plus wing base control surfaces. I'm writing that down. I hate to write it down, but it's interesting. <laughs> that's going on the list, but that's going to be pain right there. Fucking hell. Stable pop-up turret. Pop-up turrets and pop-up stuff is something I do want to mess with more because there's a... You guys may not have seen the stream where we did it, but there's some very cool things you can do with turrets and pistons. What else we got? Is it possible to build a gun that can fire a wedge hog? Yes, it is. I can answer that question for you already. Look, look, now I can be like, Ooh. if I position the shot just right, we'll brand it up. Perfect. Now, where were we? Yeah, but I'm no good at scripting RF777, so making a craft that only uses two thrusters that are on rotors with a script is fine, but I'd have to just use someone else's script, and that's that's not really that much of a, a learning or challenging scenario. Let's just download something with the vector thrust script, yeah. I, I, could, I could show someone else's. Try a swing wing design? I've actually got a swing wing design that I could load up, uh, which was a Atmo to orbit craft, two stage bit like the old um, shuttle carrier you know the, the virgin approach small ship factory and a large ship again something I've done but we could revisit uh, small ship factory and a large ship that's the wrong way around surely you can't do it that way around clang based defense traps <laughs> lol A spittable fighter. A splittable fighter. All right. Split fighter. That sounds kind of interesting. So 
too many ideas all of a sudden. Make sure, guys, you stick these things in comments as well if we don't do them today. I need more ideas for next week. Every week, we're going to have some cool stuff we want to look at and try, and, like, try out cool stuff. So there's plenty of good ideas down here. Articulating snake-like creature using only inertia to propel itself in space. Like in water, by pointing the thrusters only sideways. <laughs> Titan, man. <laughs> You're trying to break me. Is that the deal? Sounds like it is. Is it possible to concentrate firepower on a ship by placing Gatlings on rotors, then angling them slightly off center? A very interesting one, Michael Bennett. I don't think we'll do that today, but please put that in a comment. Sound dancing, that's a very interesting one. A bit clangy, but hey, we like clangy. Ground drones. Oh, the detaches stuff becoming shit. There's a lot of ideas here that I don't even properly understand. Like they almost need a bit more ex sort of uh, explanation. Make something that fabricates a moving minefield. I like the idea of a minefield deployer, especially if it was a ground one. Like, can we build something that dr drills a hole, drops a mine in it, and then builds a block over the top? That'd be pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, I quite like that idea. Aussie stage fight. Big fighter as it takes damage, sections are rejected, revealing a smaller fighter inside. It can, it can do this se several times. The Russian doll of fighters. You see, these are exactly the sort of ideas I wanted, guys. Like, something that's got a bit of an interesting gist to it as well. Russian doll fighter. That's like, this is so cool idea there. I mean, just from an interesting, like, can you even do that perspective? Space rumbers. Self-replicating missile. Sounds very low to see. Working chess. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I like that idea, uh, Aristair. So, sort of a modular, expandable ship where it, you start off with a core bit with build and repair on it, and then you can print multiple projections over the top of it to make it into a fighter, or make it into a, a miner, or make it into a cargo vessel. That's a cool one. That'd have to be a whole episode, I think. Can you skyhook? Skyhook in SE. Looking nice. Anti-missile system using kinetic kill projectiles. Could be hard for planetary with gravity involved, but yeah. I mean, Anti-missile flak, basically. Transportable base whose thrusters are separate ships. I think I've tried that before, but I'm not, I'm not against trying it again. That needs to be an episode on its own. Shack proof ship. Wow, yes. 
Yeah, we need to be the shackproof ship episode. Lol. Nice one, Thor. <laughs> No, we could, elaborate death trap maze for Shaq? I don't think we can do, but we could look at traps in general. I like this idea, guys. I've got enough here. I'm going to put the straw poll together quickly. Let me go to... I'm going to mute myself at the same time, because I do actually need a quick buyer. But yeah, let me stick a straw poll together. We'll pick one for the rest of the stream. Give one of these ones a quick idea, but so many good ideas for next time. Please make sure you hit these up in the comments because some of these are excellent. I've written down as many as I can, but there's more ideas than I can follow. So please make sure to hit me up in the comments after as well so we've got more fuel for the future episodes. And just so you know, like Farrell and Tex may well join me in future, as may well other people. Whoever's around, like this is a sort of open series where we can go and experiment with ideas with whoever's around. It just so happened that tonight, for the first episode, it was me. So we'll return in just one second while I set up this here straw poll. Yes, people are still going. Or cube. <laughs> okay. So one that we could have a look at is rotor control surfaces. Sounds painful, but yep. Yeah. Have a look at a swing wing. Just thinking of ones that I can fit in the rest of the stream without any prep more than anything else because we're two hours in already. Split Fighter, that's an interesting one. Duo Fighter, I should call it. Split Duo Fighter. Uh, don't think I can do Russian Doll Fighter tonight. That sounds like an in-depth. Same with self-replicating missiles and modular ships with Bob. Shackproof ship, that's like three streams, four streams. <clears throat> We're going to have a go at a minefield deployer. Or maybe, maybe some ground drones. Alright, that'll do for tonight, and remember... 
anything that isn't up tonight, stick in the comments and we will most definitely look at doing in future. Straw poll is up. You guys vote. I'm going to go and fly this dangerously until I crash. No, I'm not. I'm going to fly it two inches and then crash. Good. She seems all right with the uh, slight damage to one of the wings. No, she doesn't. She seems... Oh, no, we got the brakes deployed. Probably doesn't help. There we go. How many bobs are too many? As soon as you damage one of the wings, look, this is how important the uh, the balance of this is. Just that bit of damage we've taken already is enough to make this thing want to spin. Certainly has some flaws doing it like this. This is a version without the bottom bits fixed. Minefield wins, how we're looking. Minefield deployer is on 27 votes, rotor control surfaces on 18, split duo fighter on 16, and ground drones, aka the groans, on 12. Yeah, I should probably link the actual poll itself more than once. Would help. This adventures of Remetheb. Great name. <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. Thank you tons for your wonderful content. You were all invited to the SE Pride Parade this Saturday. Ah, yes, I heard about that. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it, but wish you all a good time and the best of luck with it. Sounds like a fun idea, if nothing else. So it all goes well, you get plenty of people shot. Uh, yeah, I'll, I mean, if I'm around, then I will be sure to show up, but I'm not 100% certain I'm going to be free on Saturday. flies pretty well. SE's juddering like an absolute nightmare, but she flies all right. Holy crap. Yes, she does. Direction changes are as fast as you want to make them, basically. Yeah. Now you're going this way. Now you're going that way. Holy crap. Yeah. Your direction changes are ridiculously quick. You can drop the speed, but surprising, surprising.
That means land. Very, very slowly, because this is also a version without brakes. Apparently I'm not coming into land. I'm coming into... The curvature of the Earth is defeating me. How are we looking? Yep, it looks like we're going to have a go at the minefield deployer. Kind of mostly land. Missing a bit of his front wing, but that's about it. And into the sunset she goes. There you will. <laughs> okay, a minefield deployer. How are we going to do this? Okay. Okay, I, right, okay. I think I've got an idea here. Let's have, a, let's, have a, let's have a go at this. Because I'm thinking... But obviously, we're going to want... We want a wheeled vehicle, I think. And we want something that... Oh, just small. It is small. Okay. Want to go small? No. I'm going to launch for this. Do I? The way I figure a mine layer, the minefield deployer, is that you need to. Um... Well, let's do a test. I just had a, I just had a sudden thought. Do a very quick test. If I was to set up a, you're going to need a welder. Projector, forehead, sensor, battery, and that in theory should be it. And then if you build this right, so um, first things first, I'm going to need a very specific small grid blueprint. So we're going to need. You covered in you with one of you. You for now are going to detect enemy small ships, large ships in all directions just for ease and then. Really? These are still... Because it's active at the moment. Because it thinks that's an enemy small ship. We're still having those problems, are we? It's not enemy, it's armor blocks, friend. Ugh, so dumb. So dumb! Right, that'll do. Right then, now we're going to call you... Minefield. Mine. So it's a blueprint. And then... Super quick test. I want to see if this is at all possible. You there. Some power. And all we really want is a 
a welder as close to the ground as I can get it without it being in the ground and thus being unbelievable. Is, that probably is, isn't it? I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. Uh, no, I need a small ship projector, don't I? Makes it gone. Just disappeared. Just bug it off. Oh, there it is. actually let me get away with this. Ah, no, because I need to have it attached to something to start welding. How am I going to manage that? trying to cheese it underground without actually having to damage the ground in the slightest. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. So, rotate it round. Yeah, that was kind of hoping a bit much, wasn't it? Uh, what am I doing? Failing is what I'm doing. Next bar, right. Increase your... Increase your... 
bitch. Why is it moving them by 180 degrees at a time? Since when has this been a thing? Why? That's really stupid. Okay, so it is your... I just need to go the other way. That's all. I need to set up a grinder here, basically, on a rotor, so otherwise it won't grind what I want. And this needs to be super close to the ground, but not that close. It needs to be just a tiny bit less close than everything else, and this thing just r rides the ground. That rotor up. Stop doing that. Alright, well that's the perfect spot anyway. Right, save. Then what we need to do is, first of all, projectors on, welder on. How far has it got? Hasn't even welded that top block. Why not? It might be that we can't do this. This was part of what we're testing, but. I get at that, please. Um. The projection's not on, Roger. Right, so they don't want you doing that then. Roger, I hear you. It's there. It says. Doesn't need materials, I'm in creative.
Ah, ok. No. Sí, sí. What also did... Yeah, it's the ground. Okay, so this is not going to work. Unfortunately. As haxy as that would be, so we need to drill a hole. Nah, the the pro the problem was the, the problem is the ground. I can't weld anything because it's because it's small ship blocks. Small ship blocks can't be in contact with the ground ever, even in creative mode. Like, look, I, it won't let me place them. But if it was a large ship block, I can. So we need to rethink this. Large ship blocks can can intersect the terrain. Minefield two. Okay, same deal again. Just this time, large ship. So, need our welder nice and close to the ground. That's not even actually touching the ground, so that's a f relatively fair test. We're going to need our grinder off on the side again. Ah, I didn't put anything on to actually attach to this thing, did I? Closer. Have him there, and we'll. Might work. We'll have to see. I need to get the projector down now. Test it out. Oh, a battery on this? A warhead is not a projector. I do have very similar icons, but try again. Just doing concept tests at the moment, basically. That's why I'm not going big or go home. I mean, we do, to be fair, we are going big. But only because of necessity. I would have gone smaller if I could. Just because of ease, but looks like this is going to have to be the way we do it. Right. By far, even though it's a bit clunky to add them to the toolbars, it still seems like this is the best way of setting up your projections. Actually being able to see as you do stuff. Kind of helpful. I think that's about right. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to weld that far. We might have to bring it one in, but we can see. Oops. 
do want to test the extent of what the welder can do, so. Ah, but what I should probably also do, rotate that round so it's pointing the same side as the... Oh nice, it's still doing the 180 degree thing. That's massively helpful, Space Engineers. It really is. Really, you know, makes sense as to why you'd have those bars if you do that. Close enough. that weldable in theory fill that in uh, I, this this setup here isn't good enough I'd need to do it with a piston in order to be accurate enough but it's a test for now a proof of proof of concept indeed I want to know if it's possible to actually build stuff under the ground and then grind away the the remains and to be honest if I'm going to do that then what we probably want to do is redo this actually to there with this on and then extend the rotor as far as we possibly can down a bit I believe that'll still reach if it doesn't I can always adjust it again but stage one is does it even weld? So, hammer in position. That's in theory all in position to weld. Blocks. Hold up. On off. I'm going to call that a no. Won't let you weld into terrain. We can double check by removing the train, but at the moment, it knows there's something there. It's just not game for it. Which would be a shame, because that kind of makes this a much more clunky prospect than it would be otherwise. Go in now. are you doing? I know the projection's gone, but I don't think it has gone. I think it's just, I think it's there. It's just doing what it was doing with the other blocks. Look, yeah, it is there. But what's happening? I think I might have I discovered a bug, perhaps, here. Because it says there's a light armor block there that you can't weld. And you can't replace the projection. I was just trying to see if I dug out the terrain around, would it actually um, complete the armor block? Yeah, and it does. But then I bet you it won't build anymore. You can't build intersecting with... Yeah, they do this. When you try and build something that's intersecting with the terrain, it just disappears. Because it isn't a station, that could well be it, Gilligan, but that doesn't... We can't solve that. That stops this from being viable for a mine layer prospect. Oh, 
Okay, let me think. If you've got a large ship, how's the smallest hole you drill with a large ship drill? If it's like pulled back well away. You were making it a station in the first place stops it from being a mine layer. So it, it spoils the point to begin with. Uh, do I have any large ship vehicles? I can, no, we'll just have to stick something together quickly. I don't think build and repair would do it, but anyway, that would be, in this case, kind of cheating, I feel. Not plain wings, wheels, real wheels. Lots of little wheels it is. Uh, not that little. Why do these wheels even exist? Who the hell even uses one by one wheels? Well, except for in small ships for like bot building and stuff. Big star. Okay, right. Well, we want a base platform. And I want to see whether... I was thinking if we could perhaps... Uh, if we drill, like, a very small indentation, can we make a small ship, like, mine that fits in that indentation that's basically hidden? So, to start off with, unfortunately, what I need is a piston drilling rig. Rough and ready, of course. It's too low down, isn't it? Yep. Also, it's an even amount blocks wide. New. No. Oh. It is a proof of concept. Let your OCD relax. We will not be keeping it. Okay, so smallest, smallest little hole we can build. to go. Let's extend the piston out to 4 point. Just extend it out to 1, right?
It's a pretty tiny indentation. I'm not sure that's small enough. No, I need, I need it to be as deep as a small block, at least, I think. Yeah, I think we can use that. So, can I now fit in that sort of space a small ship mine of some short sort? Uh, not really, Luna, because as far as I'm aware, they don't work anymore. I have those, and last time I checked, they don't actually function. Batteries are the easiest way to do this, but are we going to be able to fit a battery in a hole like that? Not sensibly. Because there was a small temporary power solution in Space Engineers that wasn't these fucking enormous batteries. I'm going to try with standard reactors first and see how it goes. See if it's even worth con continuing, because these will fit. So you could... What I'm thinking is you basically... You have a Keep her fairly simple. Oh yeah, this corner doesn't exist. So, in space engineers and corners that don't exist. Not really. Not really. I'm using a sensor to trigger, Matthew Skirr, yeah. They wouldn't really be mines, otherwise they'd just be explosives, you know. I was trying to see if I could get something to sort of sit fairly flush with the ground. Because I'd really like to be able to do it with just random voxels. But these things look like they're going to be too much of a pain. Honestly. This next up is how small a hole does a small ship drill dig if it's automated like that. Can we drill a hole that will drop it in? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Simply G. I was trying to avoid that because I'm trying to go for sort of as minimal voxel deformation as possible because it tends to show up. It tends to be really visible. We'll see. See what I can do with a. Uh... Why am I doing this? Don't need to do this. Bring out someone proper.
Right, if I remember rightly, you don't have any wheels here. Oh look, I do. Get in there, mind. Can I not? Just thank you. Okay, piston. Drill. Am I in the way? Is it me? It's me. Perfect. Perfect. Um, less than perfect. I'm trapped under my own car. Oh, no, I'm not. Sweet. Maximum depth achieved. Stabling drill. Reversing this. Forwards. We'll do something with that. Fairly obvious, mine. So in here, you'd run battery. Like it's the corners that are doing this. It's it's getting caught as it tries to go in on the edges. Plus voxels and space engineers.
So it may be the case that you just stick it in the hole. This is not as good as I was hoping, I have to admit. Yeah, it looks like the best best case scenario is just to have as little on it as possible and hide it in the hole. Fortunately. So something like that and drop it in and hope it's not visible from afar, which it sort of kind of isn't. Actually, given the shadow of the vehicle, that's pretty good. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Um, I'm starting to see it now. Wow, you'd be in trouble. I'll give that a try, Duskin Day, before I before I settle on this. So instead of that, you go. Oh, hang on. Well, here's an idea. I mean, in the end, the whole size should be pretty consistent. So if we can build it the right size for this, it might work. We should be able to drop it consistently as well. I mean, that should be enough so far. You go away. Sit over there or something. Okay, it's hanging too far. Clearly not big enough yet. Might, might be onto something here. It's actually still not big enough, is it? Still a bit small. When would this mind be needed? When Wedge gets back. <laughs> uh, yeah, sounds about right. Ah, uh, yes. That doesn't help. We get rid of the uh, the existing one, perhaps. I'm 
picks it up from the center block, but can we I feel like this is more visible. Yes. Yes, I feel more visible. In here, we just need to weld a, a weld a thingy jobby, and there's very little to stop me from. Let's see which way is this going to drop? You want to drop it that way, so. Sensor, detect, large ships, not players, only enemy ones. Five meters should be enough. That was going to look awesome. But they're too close together. There is only a single block space. I think I'll end up hanging it below then. Merge block to match. Might need to fit a second welder in as well. I think the sensor is not going to get welded with where it is. I have to rethink where the sensor goes, but.
Uh, might get lucky. Might get lucky. Depends on how that hitbox works out. Uh, I guess save and try. And before we do, uh, can we clear up? Actually, no, before we do, let's drill a new hole. So, General D Mine Layer Edition. We need drill on and off. We need piston reverse. And then we're going to need merge block on and off. And need a welder group. And we need to tell projection to keep projection. Always forget that, and I don't know why it defaults to not. It's really annoying. <laughs> I guess it's for survival. Yeah, that would make sense. Alright then, I take it back. I take it back! Uh, that's all I need. Right, G menu. Groups. Welders. On, off. Cool. So, the way this works. General D's rumbling around, not much going down. It's like, ah, well, maybe some scumbags come rolling by. Let's make sure we're let's make sure we're ready for them scumbags. Activate and drill. Gotta give the drill a bit of time. Let it work its magic. Magic working, magic working. Right, deactivate and drill. Now, here's where you'd really want like a downwards facing camera. But we don't have that, so for now, we're just going to try and pull forward as best we can. Pretty good. Oh, it'll do, it'll do. Then, activate in welders. Welders welding up a total of nothing. Did they really make small ship welders that bad? You, you're touching it, mate. It's, you, it's in the next block to you. Come on now. There's a bit of conspiracy theory going on with music as well, I know. Welder. B on. You do. They aren't connected to anything, but let me place them there and I can control them, so... I don't think that's it. There you go. If, if, if it fixes your OCD, then they're connected to something. Am I sure they're on? Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure they're on. On to me. Alright. Experiment. You've got to be kidding me. No, there's got to be something else going on, because I should be able to weld that one. Surely. Give me out.
Um, you know what? We'll try again. You say ownership? No. They were all built by me. It's not ownership. I am going to reload just to find out whether this is small ship welders being just broken as all fuck. Because I haven't done this in a long time. If this is actually the state of small ship welders, this is disappointing because that, like, you know, I, I've done a fair few projection systems in my time and nothing's interfering or blocking the projection here. May, maybe there's some arguments at this edge from the wheel, but it let me build the battery by hand. So if it can build the battery, it can build the rest of it. So either something's just bugged out or small ship welders are just useless now. The sensor won't interfere until it's trying to build the sensor. It builds it in order of uh, bits that are attached. So this bit is trying to build the merge block first, or should be. And these things are on. I think you might be right, Devnell. I'm going to go for a save and a reload just to double check because I'm, I'm interested. This is a experimental stream in the end so let's see what happens go 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 reload show us what you got Space engineers load times. Reliably terrible. All right, then. Come on, you shithead. If I can build this by hand... It's interfering with your build space. These, these are interesting, and why those weren't built. Oh, that one did, all of a sudden. Oh, it's because I forget, the welder's also pointing in the wrong place at these days. So you need to point a bit above and to the left of the block you want to weld, and that's actually going to weld it. I forgot, because space engineers reasons. All right, can confirm, small ship welder's basically useless. Just wave it around in that direction, it'll weld it, right? They are that awful? Holy crap. Hmm. That is just massively disappointing. I'm glad we've been using Bob. All right, I'm going to take the General D for a drive. See how this thing handles after all of the changes. I imagine ridiculously well, like to the point where I should probably go 
Uh, all you wheels. No speed limit, but also more power. Okay, so it locks up pretty badly if you turn too sharply. Drive slow. Handling's decent enough. Hello. We're bringing a friend. What's going on? I'm getting frustrated with the welder distance in small ship welders and space engineers, apparently. I didn't even know that was a thing, but apparently that's what's happening. So a large ship version might technically work. You were to uh, so no, drill on piston go five. Ironically, that looks like a great size for a small ship welder. Uh, piston, reverse. No, that's enormous. That is utterly huge. Judging invisibility factor. Actually, not as bad as you would expect, and we're at a, we're at an abnormally high angle as well. Let's whack a cockpit down on a low angle and do a test on this and see whether or not it's like how visible is it coming up upon that hole, driving into the sun, actually actively looking for something. Well, missed a hole already. Also, this thing breaks like balls. Was that the hole? I don't think it was. Are you the hole? You are the hole. Okay. Looking away intentionally, forgetting where it is, somewhere around here. Right, I saw it this time, it's here. But still, that's more invisible than you would expect. Right, 
Can what can you fit in that hole? Can you fit this in that hole? Can now. So apparently that one was armed. <laughs> Drilling new hole. Commence drilling. Reverse drilling. And then what we need on the back of this really is yes a double landing gear set up that's a good answer really want to connect to this on as well if we can so connector in the right place one block higher don't be an ass game they are so very very clearly not touching Proof of concept, proof of concept. If it works, I can always go and build like a, a funky super variant of it that's all connected up like it should be, which is what I'd say you'd want to do here, is you'd want to convert it all together for control more than anything else. But, lacking that for the time being. Flag space engineers out by dry, dry, uh, drawing a tiny little platform. In which we're going to need central merge block. Central necessarily it needs to be lined up with that. So there. as good as we're going to get and then we need it surrounded by not grinders not grinders holders shit though you may be small welders we can work with you by placing you everywhere.
So I actually need these like Get wrecked. Too many welders for you. In the end, again, this is just about proof of concept. Seeing if like we can create a minefield. I can set a minefield up and then like drive through it and get caught out legitimately. Saying that, is the height right for Probably is, yeah. Get replaced, small welders. Get replaced. Okay, now the final bits are, I need to go and line up the projection with a cockpit on the right bit. I need to be over here and get out on the side of things. So projector, blueprints, mine, field, which one is the small ship? Three, I think. Yep. And then So, right. I think it's the opposite way on pitch. No. Okay, save, blueprint. Run cockpit. We do ourselves. Get some reverse and drill on and off. We're gonna drill ourselves a hole. is dug. Drive forward a bit too fast, get the piston stuck. Gonna position our mine over the hole. About right. Then, because ship is not designed properly, gonna move to different cockpit. Where we're gonna need uh Why is welder not showing up in all blocks? Oh, because it's actually on the other ship, isn't it? No, I didn't need to switch ships. I just need to check the key projections on. Wasn't. I need to switch for the merge. Okay. 
welders on. Welders have successfully welded up payload. By the looks of things. Yep, payload is complete. So, final portion of payload delivery. Projector off. Merge block off. Payload has prepared. Vacating area. Bye bye. Wow, I missed it with the LED. All right, let's set you up now to explode on large vehicles. Yeah, you're on large ships, let's turn you on to neutral and give you like a half sensible range. Group the warheads. Arm them and add them to the sensor. See what happens when we say Take our prototype mine layer back over the top. I drive this way a bit just so I forget where it is. There'll be some debris around the area, but I'll forget where the hole is. Okay. Somewhere over this direction. There's our debris. I can see multiple holes. Oh. More than that one. I don't think. Maybe I didn't. I may not have wore it while I'm... No, I didn't add them to the sensor, did I? Could be this one. But, yeah. No, I did add them to the sensor. I did arm the warheads. They're on detonate. Sensor may not have been set wide enough to activate. Ah, and it wasn't set to detect owner or friendly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to blueprint it first, and then I'm going to turn owner and friendly on. See what happens when we drive over it. I reckon I can sleek up this vehicle a lot in order to make a, like a functional version. Connector on the two bits so that you can actually still group them up and make this something you can use on the fly, you know? Appears to be some holes in this direction, Captain. Investigating. Detonation range, perhaps a little extreme. Okay, last test. I want to see this actually blow something up. So, drill on. Drilling. While this happens, I'm also going to grab out the welders too and go and change the blueprint in. Yeah, director. Other oh, welders are still on, aren't they? Oh, uh, that'll be fine. You could change the blueprints with the projection off. With the projection off, yeah. Kind of annoying. Holders off. New projector on blueprints. Mine field. Oh, yeah, good typing, wasted. And again.
and it's lost its name now called smallgid 3706-1 and is orientated wrong as well I would imagine Where was I? Our hole is finished and has been for a while. Stop that. Forwards. Find deployable position. We'll have a downwards camera for this, I think. Speed things up. Activate welders. Welding complete. Releasing merge. And moving forwards. And of course, without that last step and moving straight on to drill another one, I reckon you could get quite the minefield set up like this. Of course, now what I need to do is uh, take something in my ship, say these welders, and uh, transfer them to the Great Tarantula. Oh my god, the great tarantula owns my welders. Monarchy number 12. The great tarantula owns my welders. Oh, look. Ship's driver. Driven over a little ship. Come on now. I didn't blow the welders off. What's your problem? And where have you gone? This way. Was I not sufficiently enemy enough for you? Why no ore detector on the drilling platform? Oh. <laughs> Welders are too high. Good call, Jinx. Good call. Good call. Almost certainly it. Range may be still a tad high. Oh, it just blew up another one. <laughs> Oh, hello. Now what are you doing? No, it's wonderful. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Well, I think that's the point at which I'm going to call it. Thanks for joining me, guys. Remember, as I said multiple times, please hit me up with ideas down below. Ideas that you've seen come across in the stream will be finished up on uh, Twitch streams for the most part and you will expect to see the what did we end up calling it the flange did, did we really call it the flange we might have called it the flange the flange will be coming up on the workshop mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah cheers guys thank you very much hit me up with down, uh, suggestions for next week's episode down below hopefully i'll be able to sort of evolve this idea a bit as we go through make sort of a bit more of it in the weeks to come well, thank you very much for joining me hope you've enjoyed and we will do some more silly stuff next week. Same sort of time. 
As we watch the mine layer spin itself into oblivion. <coughs> I will indeed be finishing this thing off, however. I like this idea as a concept. I reckon we can do some fun with this, so I might have to go and polish it off at the end. But, have we got any more of our glider even left? We've got an intact version of the glider anywhere. Oh, hello. Like we might do. There we go. So we can finish off this. This is not the final variant, it feels. Not quite handling like the final one. Holy shit, the twitchiness of the dryer is. Also, where is my... Uh... We'll end up here. Cheers, guys. Thanks for joining me. I blew off its... Oh, that's what I did. I killed its rear lights. I'll look forward to your ideas down in the comments. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the stream, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all over on the Leonco Discord. Where cool things are happening with, like, Minecraft and stuff at the moment because of Katie's and Kaven. Want to know more? Hey, hey, hey. Links in the description. And into the sun we go. Good night, folks.